Hey guys, J Dog here. Can adopt you, hey? This is Let's Play Ocarina of Time. And there's a there goes my phone. Ah. That was unexpected. Okay. Well, we gotta find a sword and a shield so we can slap Mido in the face and go see the Great Deku Tree. Oh, I can't pick the grass up. That's sad. Not really. I'm not supposed to be able to pick up the grass. I have to freaking deroot it and everything. Now then. Now, some people usually get stuck here, like Akuma. He told me about how he never really got through this game. One, because the first time he played it, he couldn't find the sword. And then two, he really just spent too much time messing around in the fields. What are you doing to my phone? That was my phone saying I was low on battery. Oh. I was gonna say, I've never heard my phone make that noise before! Oh my god! Okay. I guess I'm on my own for a minute here. <laughs> ah! uh, <laughs> How many times am I gonna fail at this? Ugh, I just farted. Alright, well, here's the uh, sword. Nice Shadow Blink's butt there. You got the Kokiri Sword! On the equipment subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. I don't need to practice. Okay. Now, this is the subscreen you go to to equip the sword. Yeah, you're not getting my ass again. Okay, now we can really start grinding for money. Get out of here, sign. I don't need signs. Get your sign-shaped ass out of here. Alright. <clears throat> what the hell? One of those usually gives me at least a green ribby. Well, yeah, then I should probably explain the currency while I'm just winging it here without a dot to me. Um. She's in the bathroom talking to her mom. Um. Currency system in this game is actually pretty interesting. It doesn't It's not like coins or anything. You don't jump to collect coins. You don't punch blocks or anything. You actually have to cut shit. You know, bust up rocks, cut grass. And, um, we'll find these little gemstones called rupees. The, um, value system of the rupees is actually pretty interesting, too. They go by color. Green rupees are the least rare, and they amount up to one in the currency. There are blue rupees, which are worth five. And then I think the next highest is yellow rupees, which are ten. Or aren't there yellow rupees in this game? I can't remember. I've never gotten a yellow rupee before. <laughs> hey, Datsume! I was just explaining the money system of the game. As far as I know, there's... The things that you can find, like, just randomly, there are... Green rupees and blue rupees. Green are worth one, and blue are worth five. What the hell is this guy doing? That meanie Mido made me cut the grass at Saria's house. Mido told Saria he would do it so she would like him, but I'm the one doing all the work. You and Saria are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything that you find while cutting it. Oh, sure, dude. There you go. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, well... Another excellent Let's Play of this game... I can only um, suggest one person, Nintendo Capri Sun. I was, <laughs> I don't want to say captivated, but I was very entertained by his Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you came all the way up here? You're a real man. Well, that's not what Mido said. <clears throat> Look, isn't this view pretty? 
change your viewpoint with up on the C stick so you can look around the forest with the analog stick. All right, let's try it. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, hi. Too happy. No kidding. That's not just so happy, that's too happy. Yeah, you guys, so while I'm talking about Nintendo Crew Sun, you guys probably hear me quoting him a lot. I am not ripping him off. You just watch him every day of your life. I spend too much time watching his videos. Just he like, even says it in normal situations that aren't even in video games. So, yeah. Whoa, hi, hi J-Dog, look this way. Look over here with L and talk to me with A. Don't break the fourth wall. What are you doing? Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. No kidding. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. No, I don't... I don't need this. I, I can explain this myself. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just do what I did. You hold L, that's your L targeting. Why <laughs> <laughs> didn't he just make a stool for himself? I don't know. He's got one right here. Just toss it over the bench. Or the counter. Okay. He probably is a bench. They're probably that small. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Well, I should probably explain the Kokiri while What's I can. What's that? What was what? It's a tree. No! Back there! Right behind you. Right behind that. Oh. That. Oh, this? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a patch of soft soil. Or why? Um, there's actually a couple of other side quests for a little bit later in the game. You can find these magic beans, plant the beans in the soft soil, and when you grow up, spoiler, I know, um, they turn into these, into these little floaty platforms that will take you to certain places. Or you can um, put bugs into them, and the bugs will turn into a gold school skull tula and pop out. And that's how you get your bigger wallets. You can get blue rupees by jumping just right uh, over those things, but no. No. Yes, for I am lying though. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. All right, this is Saria's house, if you didn't already figure that out from earlier. Um, I should explain the premise on the Kokiri bomb only in the second video instead of the tenth. Basically, the Kokiri are a race of children who never grow up. The whole Neverland effect. Um, there's, uh... There's a user in DeviantArt who's actually making a very interesting Zelda comic. And the idea for their immortality is the Great Taku Tree connects himself with the Kokiri. And they then gain immortality and eternal youth. But I think the idea here is just that they're born Kokiri, so they never age, never grow up, so and so. And what's up with Link? Link is actually human. You don't find that out until much later. <laughs> so, I just spoiled the whole thing. But yeah, Link is a human. But so how do you get there? That is actually an interesting story that I figured out. Um, actually, you do learn this later on in the game, too. Then leave it alone. Alright. <laughs> I'll add my own knowledge to it when we find out. Okay. We're going to stop recording here. Jeez, how many videos are we going to spend in the, in the Kokiri Forest without taking on the first dungeon? Well, I'm J-Dog. No, but ask me. Remember, playing a video game is like having sex. you got to push the right buttons the right way. Next time, we will earn the last amount of rupees. What are you doing? No. <laughs> we will earn seven more rupees to buy a shield at the shop. I know. And we will take on the first dungeon. See ya!